Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss some questions based on integration by partial fractions. As we have discussed integration by partial fraction in our last video. Okay, so now we are solving some questions based on it. Okay, so my first question here is find x square plus 1 over x square minus 5x plus 6 dx okay so now uh, to solve these type of integrands okay we need to convert this into partial fractions okay so how to convert these type of uh, rational fractions in partial fractions as so I'll break down it so can I write this as Okay, so this 5x got cancelled and 6 minus 5 will become 1 in the numerator part. So this is and this is x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay, so now my expression becomes very easy and to solve the value of this expression and to get this partial fraction, what I will do is I will make it again in partial fractions so this is a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 3 and from here I will get the values of a and b which are a equal minus 5 and b equal 10 after solving this okay so now my total expression becomes 1 minus 5 over x minus 2 plus 10 over x minus 3 so the integrand x square plus 1 over x square minus 5x plus 6 becomes integrand this dx, this dx into this dx. So this is x minus 5 times log of x minus 2 plus 10 times log of x minus 3. So uh, by simply adding c I will get the integration constant so this is the integral of this whole rational fraction that that is given to us now let's discuss one more typical question based on it okay so student here is the example of one more typical type question okay so but in this before converting this into a rational fraction into some partial fraction I'll put the value of x square equal y okay so my expression becomes x square upon x square plus 1 into y x square plus 4 equals y upon y plus 1 into y plus 4 okay and to break down this as y plus 4 I'll get the value of a as minus 1 by 3 and b as 4 by 3 b equals 4 by 3 so now my expression becomes I am again putting back the value of y equal x square ok so my integrand this becomes this plus this so now can I write this as 10 inverse x plus 4 by 3 10 inverse or into 1 by 2 10 inverse x by 2 plus c so my answer becomes minus 1 by 3 10 inverse x plus 2 by 3 10 inverse x by 2 plus c some constant of integration so i hope students now you uh, become uh, clear about that how to solve the rational fraction into partial fractions and that how it will become easier to solve the integrand okay and if you are still facing any issue or any uh, 
question is stuck to you then please do let me know in the comment section thank you students happy learning stay blessed